So we're going to be in big trouble if this doesn't work. Um, if it goes down, we're going to be out thousand dollars in uh, material and uh, the new ice chest we got, the new deep freezer. So I sure hope this works. Stay tuned to find out. Gabby, aren't you feeling better? Come here, Gabs. Aren't you feeling better? Gracie, I know you're feeling good. I know you're feeling good. So Gabby is doing great. If you guys have been keeping up with Brandy's channel, Count All Joy, she's been giving updates on her and she is doing great. Um, we've never seen any signs of the heartworms that she had. Um, the worse she was whenever she got treated for it after the fact she had to be in the house for last month. But now she's back out with her daughter and enjoying life again. Okay, so if you guys have been following along on our journey here, you guys know that our deep freezer went out a few weeks ago, a month ago or so, and I've been needing to get a new one. And um, we have a half of beef coming in about an hour and a half. I go pick it up and I went and purchased a uh, chest freezer. Now, I was going to get another stand up freezer uh, and put in the house, um, but the laundry room isn't done. Um, it's like 75% done. We still got some trim and some painting and the cabinets to finish. So my thinking is, I really didn't want to go buy a new uh, stand-up freezer and stick it in there. They have to move it all whenever we go in there to trim, trim the rest of it out and do paint and all that. So what I bought was a cheaper chest freezer that's going to serve the purpose. And eventually, I think I want to take this out to the creek property for when we're deer hunting and all that. And we can store meat out there. But for the time being, we're going to put it back in the shed. If you guys know I got the one in the shed that quit me, we're going to put it in the shed. And I think I'm going to turn the shed into a temporary station where we can process our own deer where i can cut up the meat and i can actually put um vacuum seal and um, all that stuff in there um, so with that being said we need power out there you guys know we're getting we get power stations that we test out and try and use on a daily basis and um, we have transferred them moved them all over the homestead in different places so today we're going to be setting up the new u green uh, power room 2200 portable power station in the shed and that's where we're going to be using in there now so this is a brand new product for me and um, it's the biggest one that I've seen that Ugreen has put out. Okay, so before I show you guys putting um, the freezer in there, then go pick it up the meat and coming back, um, I'm going to take this out of the box, see what it's charged to. If it's not charged to 100%, which they usually aren't when they're coming out, I'm going to go ahead and charge it. And uh, that way we can have a full battery whenever we hook it up into the shed for all our stuff that we're going to be using in there. So let's get it out of the box real quick, see what it's at. And then if we need to, let's power it up and go from there. I'll tell you, this is probably the carrying case. Here we go. Usually they come charged about 33%-ish. Let's see here. All right, let's get it on the charger. It needs to be charged. comes all our cords here's one we need <laughs> so this is awesome check this out it's, it's got its own little this is actually gonna be really handy one hand the power bank click it in down there it up and we're ready to rock and roll. I like it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's actually 29%. And I said about 30, 33 percent they usually come. Um, we got it charging now, so Let's see what it does for a second. It's bringing in about 1,670 watts. It's gonna charge in the next 56 minutes. So that's gonna give me enough time to unload the freezer, get everything set up in there. And then time I get done there, I can go hook up the power station to uh, the freezer and then go get the meat and put the meat in there. That way it doesn't fall out. Okay, this is actually pretty light for a chest freezer. So I think I can get it myself. Let me get it undone here.
Yep, that's gonna be perfect. Right there. Got everything in here. All right. There's our crooked in there. That's alive. Got the keys and everything else we need. In here just like this. So I'm gonna go pick up the meat. This better work. <laughs> if not, we're gonna figure something else out. Um, but yeah, brand new. It never got tilted over upside down or anything like that. So it should work. And uh, while that's charging, I'm gonna go get the meat and come back. Okay, I went and picked up the meat. The battery's charged on the U-Green. And look at all this. So we got quite a bit of meat. So it was awesome. Worked out a deal with my buddy Brandon from Eddie Family Farm to half a beef that he raised. And um, I think we're gonna have enough room in this freezer. That was the main thing. Am I gonna have enough room? Um, so let's get the U-Green hooked up, get this running, and then we'll transfer all the meat into the freezer. I also wanted to show you guys, you can get up to 400 watts of solar power for your U-Green power station. So they're super easy to hook up. You just plug them in. I had to wash them off, they're a little dusty. You just plug them in, just like that. Doom. Both of them, and uh, wired into the U-Green power station itself. Pretty simple, plug and play. I'm gonna put it right back over in here. So some of the best features I like about power banks is that they gotta, they gotta charge fast, like the U-Green, and they need to have multiple um, 120 outlets. And this has six. Let's turn it on. Just turned it on. We're at 100%. And actually I think total it has 16 um, different outlets, counting the USB, um, the C1, the C2, a C3, a C4, and then the USB-A, A2 right there. And then you got the other ones right here, right there, right there, and then the car charger. Boom. This comes with the flashlight. All right, so we're at 100%. And you can see it's looking for my Bluetooth and apps. So you can actually run this off an app also. Anywhere that you have Wi-Fi with your app or um, cell service, you'll be able to run your U-Green. Well, since I got it back here, let's turn this light on to use it. I can actually see where the cord's at. Okay, it's taped up down here. Let's see. All right, down here. There it is. All right. Down here. Turn that light off now. Plug in this freezer. All right. And right now, it's pulling 70 watts. And that's with the compressor kicked on and getting it cooled down. Now, it's on medium. What if we put it on max? What's that going to do? Nothing yet. Actually went down some. So I think I want to run it on about between medium and max. Actually comes with the light. Okay, so I'll be getting Brandon's meat to him soon. I'm gonna put our, our part of the meat down on the bottom and his part on top and i'll show you guys some of this once we get in and i'll tell you how many pounds it was how big that freezer is that it holds so if you guys wonder how much freezer space you would need for a whole steer um you guys will know we'll tell you how, the, how much all this is okay so the u green power run 2200 portable power station um it fully charges in an hour and a half by the ac input um, with the power zip technology i said earlier you could power 99 percent of your um, appliances in your house with the 16 outlets there's space for any device and a u turbo technology boost power to 3500 watts for high wattage appliances 
So it's built with reliable EV rated life uh, PL4 battery. So the battery life cycle is up to 3000 cycles um, until it lowers to 80% capacity. That's six times more cycles than the industry average and more cost efficient. You guys seen just how easy it was to uh, make this portable with the trolley design. Uh, I just clicked it on there and just pulled it around easy. So what's cool about this too, you can make this even bigger by adding up to five expansion batteries from going to 2000 kilowatts to 12,000 um, with extra batteries. So you can download the Ugreen app to control your power roam 2200 anywhere. Don't forget it has the power saving mode and a child safety lock functions and more. Also has the UPS function uninterrupted power supply that means if the power goes out and you have your freezer hooked up to this and hooked up to your house for charging the power goes out it's going to kick this on your freezer is never going to miss a beat it's going to it's awesome you won't lose all the meat that you have in there and right now how it's going it will run this for 24 hours as of right now and once it cools down that will drop the um, output will drop and we'll probably be able to run it for maybe even a day and a half isn't that cool? So you can charge this multiple ways, solar power, your vehicle, and just your AC outlet on your home. So that's what we're gonna be doing with this. I'm just gonna run a cord over from the generator when we're charging all our power banks um, to this and we'll charge it. And cool thing about cool thing about it is if you want to leave for a couple days and say that does die, um, you're gonna have your app to tell you that someone can come charge them for you or you can put on your solar but a freezer will stay frozen 24 to 36 hours as long as you're not opening and closing the door so you'll be good so that's that's one cool thing about um, having power bank having a power bank like the u green for a backup is you're going to get multiple days usage out of it even if it does go dead you still have time as long as you're staying out of it to get it recharged and figure all that out so it's pretty cool so we want to raise our own beef in the future, um, just like we do the pigs and everything else. Um, this year, it just worked out that Brandon, our buddy Brandon, um, had a steer, and um, they didn't want the whole thing. We worked out a deal where um, we split it, so it worked out really well. Um, now we got the freezer and um, got it set up in there, and uh, we'll be getting Brandon's half to him very soon. Um, so let me tell you what we got here. So in total, the, the steer live weight was 930 pounds, and from the ones I've had processed in the past, you want right around 1,000 to 1,200 range, so we were right there. Brandon got it right there, and it was a good-looking steer, too. Um, so I'm ready to get in. I actually pulled out some T-bone steak um, to try later. Um, so the live weight was like nine, uh, 930, and um, the, the rail weight was 477, and the box weight, which means how much meat we got for the whole thing, it was two about 240 pounds of meat. I mean, I don't know how good that is as far as percentage wise. Um, the rail weight being 477, I guess that's after um, they they process it, you know, they gut it and, and all that. So um, that's pretty good. So a thousand pound steer will fit in a 10 cubic <laughs> freezer. And you guys always gotta have something to run your freezer. What you two doing? Huh, what are you two doing? <laughs> you want some steak? don't think so i don't think so so the situation we're in we'll be using this u green full time um, until i get this freezer out to the um, property because i want to put this one out to the proper creek property um, we'll be using it here full time uh, most of you guys that are watching this won't be using them full time and you'll have them for a backup um, backup power on demand you might say backup power uh, mercy power uh, so if your power does go out um, which everyone's does and um, you guys do need a mercy backup to run your refrigerator your freezer your CPAP machines the U green um, is is big enough to run 99% of your household appliances the only thing that I could think of in our house that this wouldn't run is the big air conditioner like we've told you guys before um, it just doesn't have the capability of that and um, but this thing is going to be workhorse for our freezer in the meantime until we get it transferred out to the creek property so today was the day i had to get the meat from the processor and um, get the freezer and all that and everything just worked out well where we got this new um, u green to run the freezer because you guys know we're bouncing things back and forth making things work um, on our homestead uh, but yeah so far i think this is going to be a good one okay i'm going to give it some time to let that freezer get down to temp and we'll come back out here in just a little bit and check it and see how the u-green is running the deep freezer. okay so it's been right out a week since i filmed for this video because i've been testing out the u-green um i want to put it to the test over a week period i guess you might say and so far zero flaws 
for what I'm using it for. And I've kind of got my setup. I need to get one more table in here, but I've got my deer station set up and I got several things plugged into this thing and it's still running. And let me get into, uh, let me show you what I got going on right here. Then I'm gonna get into just how long the U-Green has ran the, the ice chest without going to zero percent. We'll go back, we'll go over that in just a minute. Okay, so what I got set up right now, just to show you guys, this will handle it. I got my vacuum sealer. I got my uh, meat slicer. I need to get another table right here because I got a few more things like a grinder and other things I put in here. And one thing I was wondering if Brandy would care, I can, when it gets cold enough, I can actually hang a deer right there. Eventually want to get a walk-in cooler but we don't we don't have the means to out here right now but i could hang i can hang a deer up right here i can just slice it off and, and process it all right here but anyways i got several things hooked up at once and let's check it out so i got, I got a fan running because it is a, a warmer day today and um got a light going and the u green <clears throat> i charged it last night um and it's at 83 percent and right now with everything running it'll say 15 hours but we won't be running the light and that <clears throat> and this has been flawless i put that in there the other day just to see if it was working and it was solid 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 nothing wrong with this at all what are you doing nothing does lily want to get in the ice chest yeah let's put it in there. <clears throat> you want to get in there though cool off a little bit hmm hey we need we need to get you a deer because I'm getting the whole processing set up for us. Yeah. What do you think about hanging a deer right here? Probably in my bedroom. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Okay, so we're running. We're pulling 92 watts. And let's turn the meat slicer on for a minute. Does it slice the deer meat? Yeah, you put it on here and you slice it like that. Watch your fingers. So this shouldn't be pulling a whole lot. This pulls about another, what, what was that, 120? A bee's trying to go in there. Yep, a bee is trying to go in there. Oh, that bee better watch out. Watch out, bee. And then we actually have, we can just turn this on just to show. Still going good. So it just goes to show you can run multiple um, appliances at the same time with this big U-Green. It's awesome. Is this one working? No, that one's one that broke and this is the uh, new one I had to get. I like this one better. I bet you know we're running the whole thing. We have been for over about a week now off the new U-Green power bank. Even all those. Yep, we just did that. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. I went ahead and downloaded the app for it. I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, and it tells you how to do it all. It's super simple to set up, but I can actually be in the house and I could check the percentage of the battery. I could be in town if it's on Wi-Fi and I could check it that way too. Go ahead and turn this fan light off. Maybe. Okay, all right, I wanted to pull up the app and show you guys. Um, I'll do a little screen record and show you guys too. Hold on a second. Have a drink. Yeah, so the app is actually super important, I think, to use. So I'll show you guys the app as I'm using it right now on screen. Um, right now it's showing it's at 83%. And I'm hooked up to the Bluetooth right now. I got I'm, Right now I'm using 54 watts because I unplugged everything but the deep freezer itself. And right now at 83%, if it ran just 55 watts the whole time, it would last right at 14 hours. Um, but the um, compressor will shut off. It will be at zero. It shows you if you got something hooked up to a port, how many watts it's using. Hope, will you go turn that light on behind us? Yeah. And we'll see it pop up on this, hopefully. What light? Right there, that's right above the U-Grain. Okay. Yeah, there's a little button. Go down below on the cord, there's a button. And you just turn it on. So she's gonna turn that light on just so we could test this app. Yeah, it just popped up 12% or 12, um, 12 watts. All right, you can turn it off now. Okay. So it was using 12 watts. That's what's cool. You can tell which each device that's plugged in, how many watts it's using. I, I find that very interesting. So we're, we're probably in a different scenario, different living conditions than you guys are when it comes to power. Um, we are living off grid and we use these power banks as a way of life. It's running our deep freezer now. Like they're very important to us, each and every one that we do have. So we love it um, when we get to test these out. The U-Green is, is really 
Um, the U-Green, to me, um, they have really stood out from a lot of the other ones because um, from what I could tell is that they are really customer friendly. Um, they are building up their brand and they're doing a really good job. This is the third U-Green that we have and I, and I like all of them. So what was interesting about this, when we first, when I first put the meat in there, I showed you guys are in the video, when I first put the meat in there, um, I don't remember exactly how long it said it would run it for, um, 100%, maybe like 18 hours or something like that. So the, the initial, it had to get down to the temperature. The meat was frozen when we stuck it in there, so it helped it out. It, the first charge lasted, I think, right at 24 hours. So then I charged it again before it went dead. It was like on 2% or something. I was watching it with the app. Before it went dead, I charged it again, and I'm charging it off our main big generator that we charge all our stuff with. So the second initial charge, um, after the, the deep freezer had cooled down to temp and it was at normal operating temperature with the frozen meat and everything in there, the, it lasted 40 hours on one charge. 40 hours on one charge. That's just what we uh, what, that's just what we experienced here. So with that being said, if you are in a grid down scenario and you use this for backup, plug it in as quick as you can. That way you will get a longer life out of that battery for that initial charge, if that makes sense. Um, don't wait a day when everything cools, uh, warms up. Um, as long as it's uh, cold, frozen, it will last even longer because your compressor is not going to be running and stuff. So that's what I found out the first time whenever we had to bring it down. It lasted 24 hours, which that's impressive by itself. But then the second initial one lasted 40 hours. I thought that was really impressive. Now you got to remember, I'm only I was only running the deep freezer, <coughs> the deep freezer off of. I wasn't running all the equipment and stuff. Obviously, if I was running all the equipment and everything, the more stuff you use, the more watch you use, um, the least amount of time it's gonna gonna run for. That just makes that's just obvious. So my advice to you guys, if you guys are interested in the U Green at all, I'm gonna put a, a, a pin comment with the links and in the description box too. That way you guys can get in on the savings. But I always recommend people ask me what which one should I get? I always say get a fast charging one like the U Green. Get the the best one that you can find that fits your budget. So you can go on U Green's website and you can see all all the ones that they offer. And whatever fits your budget, that's the one to get. And I know most of you guys will be in a emergency situation. You won't be like we are. Um, so I see that's good. You know, you could charge this, keep it in your closet or wherever. And uh, when you need it, it's going to be there. It's going to be charged and it's going to be ready to go. And then um, you could find ways. Hopefully a lot of times when around here, when the power grid goes down, like in town and stuff, it lasts anywhere from 12 hours to four to eight hours. Um, four to eight hours being probably the extreme, more like probably 12 hours. Um, they get the stuff back on. They work pretty quick. Um, so if you're living in the city or or something like that, and you got this, you can, you're going to be able to run your deep freezer, your refrigerator, all that stuff um, for the time the power is out. And I find that very important because most homesteaders like ourselves, we have so much money invested in uh, meat and things like that. When we lived at the old house, we had three deep freezers. So when the power went out, it was kind of a big deal because um, you don't want to lose all that meat. So we're relying on you green to save all our meat here and Brandon's meat until he picks it up. And um, it's doing a great job. So like I said earlier, if you guys are interested in this whatsoever, links down below, pin comment, and in the description box. I really don't think you guys are going to be disappointed um, in this one. Um, it's uh, over 2,000 watts and um, it, packs a, it packs a lot of... Uh, it offers a lot of different extras on it with um, 16 different outlets on it. Pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, stay tuned. I'm going to be cooking some of this meat pretty soon and see how it tastes. I bet it's awesome. So love you guys. Catch you on next video. Thanks for watching.